I want to sidestep for a moment and show you something called the histogram panel. I want to introduce you to the concept of a histogram. What the heck is a histogram? Well, basically what a histogram is, is a graphical representation of the light distribution inside your image. Sounds technical, doesn't it? Sometimes it's referred to as a luminance graph. Give me a second. What I'm going to do once again inside my image is revert all the way back to the starting point. And Photoshop actually has a histogram panel. And we're going to see histograms in a couple of different places inside Photoshop as well. But let me show you the histogram panel. I'm going to go window and then down to histogram. Not history, but histogram. Go ahead and choose this guy. And, you know, give me a second. I think what I'm going to do is tear this guy away and I'm going to get rid of my other my other panel there, the navigator panel. There we go. This is our histogram. So as you can see, it's just a, a graphical representation of the, the color content, I guess you could say, of the current image. So how it works here is the shadows are on the left-hand side of the histogram. The midtones are going to be in the middle of the histogram. And the right-hand side of the histogram illustrates or indicates to us the light areas or the highlights inside our photograph. So this scale, this horizontal scale, is measured from 0 to 255. So we actually have 256 brightness levels inside each channel inside our image. We're inside an RGB channel, so each channel has 256 brightness levels or 256 luminance levels, if you will. So you'll notice that the graph runs horizontally from dark to light, but it also runs vertically as well. How the, the vertical axis, if you will, works is the height of each of these lines represents the number of pixels in that area. So you can see inside my particular image that most of the pixels are clumped down towards, you know, just, just slightly left of center. So they're not completely dark, but they're down in that, that darker area. We don't have a whole lot in terms of the highlights, at least in this particular image. And again, of course, every image is going to be slightly different. Let me show you something else with the histogram panel. I'm going to go to the histogram panel menu, and I'm going to say, give me the expanded view. Rather than the compact view, I'm going to go expanded view. So now we have a slightly larger histogram panel. And as you can see, we have some statistics there down towards the bottom, the pixel count, the median, and so on. And the other thing that I can do as well is I can target a specific channel. So if I drop this guy down, I can say, all right, show me RGB. There we go. That's my composite channel. So that's a sort of a broad view of my image. Or I could say, show me only pixels that reside on the red channel, right? So you can see there's a spike there way down in the highlights on the far, far right side. But again, most of the pixels are clumped down slightly left of center. We could check out green. See, there's a shift there in the green. Now there's slightly more towards the right, although still slightly left of center. And let's check out our blues. You can see there's a spike there inside the darker areas of my image. So we also have luminosity. You can do that. You can check that out, the luminance levels there. Or you can go back to colors, and that gives you... So there's the blue, there's my, my red, and there's my green. And you can see the overlapping there. So there you go. There's your histogram. You might not like it, or it might be a little bit confusing at first, but what I'm going to suggest you do is keep this guy on screen. Keep him kind of kicking around in the background as we take a look at a few additional color correction options. And maybe what I'll do is I'll refer back to this guy as we're working along, and you'll see this guy changing as we're adjusting our colors inside our photograph.